Sunshine Coast, get ready for the best story you're ever going to hear. You guys have grown up on the coast and, you know, being identical twins has obviously got a lot of uh, similarities in your lives. But what's happened? So about nine months ago, Nicole missed her period. And (laughs) in the same week, I was also late for my period. We laughed and thought, oh, no way. Um, Did a pregnancy test a couple of weeks later and we were both pregnant so Timed the laughing in. joke for the last nine months was, oh, imagine if you had the babies on the same day. Because our due date was actually 10 days apart as well. So You both had your babies on the exact same day. Yes. So my labour started on the Tuesday night. It went away and came back Wednesday afternoon. It was very slow, but Wednesday about 11 o'clock, it ramped up a bit and Renee was at our house. And then about midnight, she was sitting on our couch and her waters broke. <laughs> and how was that, Renee? Like, do you think, oh, thank God this didn't happen at my place because I'll have to clean this up? <laughs> so, yeah, she, they raced off to the hospital about two o'clock, hit their sack, but I couldn't sleep because I had to keep going to the toilet and my pain started getting started getting worse so tried to get onto him for like the whole night I was him being Julius <laughs> yeah, yeah Julius partner, yeah. my partner um he wasn't answering and he finally picked up the phone about three o'clock and got down to me at 3 30 because I didn't think I should drive yeah pain was getting intense we got home about four o'clock my contractions were then like a minute apart the road trip down to the hospital from Mapleton is like 40 minutes yeah, oh yeah. god so on the way down <sighs> i was i was crowning in the car and what <laughs> i've done that too after a dodgy burrito <laughs> and i know that feeling oh i know that feeling stop it <laughs> We get to the hospital. I'm telling this baby to not come out in the car. I didn't have enough space and I could feel that she was right there. I was talking to her, please don't come out. Mommy needs more space. Mommy needs more space. Mom helps me out of the car and this lady comes walking around. um, Just, you know, nice, clean, fresh uniform, walking into work and had to grab onto her shoulders and she yells out to my partner to get a wheelchair. So he grabs a wheelchair and I'm having this big contraction, like bearing down on her shoulders. And then get into the wheelchair and we get about 20 metres into the um, hospital doors and I'm like, stop, 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 stop. I have to stand up, grab onto my partner's shoulders and birth her head oh my God. in the corridor. <gasps> had my nappy on and I thought for a second that the whole baby had come out and then I was worried for a moment that she like wasn't breathing and stuff. So then by the time she comes back and they rip my nappy off, and they see the head, like the next contraction comes and she just comes, comes out. out of me. Yeah. And the, the pathologist lady catches her. Oh, my Good God. Good work. I'm just standing Hands up. Gilly. Yeah. And then passes her to my partner. Wow. And then she starts crying straight away, which was such a relief. Yeah, but... it's good that. And then when did yours? So Come I on. was in the bath. Um, I just got in the bath and I heard that someone had just had a baby in the corridor. And I heard her midwife walk past and say, 5.45 a.m. And I said to Tom, I think that, I think Renee's had a baby. And I just started pushing. And then 20 minutes, 22 minutes later, I push him out into the bath. Well, I was about to ask. <laughs> so 22 I was minutes 22 apart. 22 minutes yeah. apart. Twin <laughs> girls from the Sunny Coast, their own babies, 22 minutes apart. My You've got God. your beautiful babies, Ruby and Xavier, um, in the house. It's so exciting, guys. Uh, can I, I really want to know, though, Nickers, can I ask you? Yeah. Did you have that twin feeling premonition that this was happening, that that your sister was in another room in the hospital having the baby? Well, I, I had I had heard from Jules to say that we're on our way to the hospital, so I knew that she was on her way. Yeah. Oh, my God. But, yeah, I think everyone manifested this from the day we fell pregnant. Like, wow. you're going to have your babies together. And, that's amazing. And it did. <laughs>